Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and from Fortnite at the moment. So let's get in there at the top. Let's have a look at his head. So he's got a wispy bit of hair coming up at the top of his head. So let's just do a couple of little wispy bits at the top there, like that. A bit like a Mohican sort of style going on. Uh, then, let have a thing. Let's have a couple of like, lines down for the top of his head there. And those maybe just continue down ever so slightly like that. Okay, this means now that we can just pop his ears in. So I'm going to do angle up and out like that, a little bit to a point, and then bring it down like so. And then just another bit just around like that. So that ear here. This one sort of pops up a little bit higher. So I'm going to do a higher curve up like that and out, and then down. It's got a little cut out of that ear, so just a little sort of chisel out of it and then join it up the same sort of places there. Then we'll just wrap that up like that. Okay, cool. Next up, got some big old eyebrows going on. So about centre there and there, two little bot like little dots going on, and then we can just draw some like bushy eyebrows going on, on this side as well. Bushy, stringy, like wise old eyebrows. Underneath that, let's do his eyes. So, I'm going to do a line underneath these eyebrows here, like this, like this. Okay, he's got like a little white dot in there. So, I'm just going to do very carefully, just pop a little white dot in there and in the middle of there. That's it. There's a little, little white dots in his eyes in there. There's a couple of curves where his nose will be there. And he's kind of got sort of a uh, bit of a sort of shaggy wrap face going on around here so I'm just gonna pop some a bit of beard going on either side of here it like comes out a bit like that there we go that's cool so I've got those side bits and then it's got his uh, rat nose here so let's have a thing it's probably gonna come out to about there I'm gonna draw a sort of little rounded sort of triangle there a couple of like lines in here and here uh, and then we're kind of just gonna Move in, sort of, where are we? Sort of underneath, from, from there, from there. Just gonna go round it out, okay, and kind of up there. Round out and up there. Kind of tapers in to that V we've just made as well. Then we can just put a couple of other little sort of shaggy bits in there. Two little rat teeth here, so two little rectangles going on. Like that, and just a little line down the middle of them. Okay, cool. Then he's got his like wise uh, moustache area, so just gonna do a little kind of line down, show that moustache there and on that side too. And then just under here, he's got his beard as well, so I'm just gonna do that under the teeth like that there, okay? Uh, so then kind of a bit of hair just around there as well. Let's make him look a little bit more sort of annoyed, it's usually slightly slightly angry is uh, splinter so let's there we go do that there and then what we could do is start popping his shoulders in so it's got quite an elegant kind of gown on um, it's a little bit tatty uh, so just going to do a line out here and I think like a line out there just put a little bit there like a little marker going on there then this can come right out kind of like that this side as well, bring that right out going on and that can cut in a little bit shabby so a few little sort of marks sort of make, making it sort of look a bit old and tattered going on there and then we can really just bring that in here this side we'll bring that in to about there at the moment okay let's just join that up we've just draw a little bit around that side there what we're going to do is pop his arm in this way so his arm kind of comes down sort of here like that and it sort of comes out um, and then the gown kind of comes around here there's a line in there bring it around right around up to there right now we can draw the rest it's a real chunky sort of sleeve so I'm just going to bring that up to his elbow here yeah and it's still quite chunky so I'm just going to bring that up there as well okay just join that up Let's pop his hand in so it's kind of like this meditated sort of hand going on so I'm just gonna do a line out here bring it up where his thumb would be and then it's kind of got his 
things going on. So I'm just going to bring that up and we'll have like one there. So one, two, three, and then like another one there. But bring that around, just put little lines on it, show the little claws. Uh, and that one's his son there, so his claw goes the other way. Cool, let's just we'll join that up. It's kind of got the bandaged area around his hand going on there. Just join that up there. Cool, okay. Uh, next up, kind of like a bit of a belt going on around here. So that kind of just is a few little horizontal lines just around um, that area there. Okay, next up, just gonna go out from just about here. We're gonna bring that down to about this area here. So just bring the line down to about there. And then it's a few little tatters like so going on around here, around like that. And then what we can do is just draw that down to there. This side, sort of the area of this gown kind of comes out around the side there. So I'm just gonna do a little line like so, tattered again. And then we just, sort of just join that up like that, like that there, okay? Uh, let's pop the other arm in, so that's just behind him here. So although we've had this bit area come out, this arm could come sort of from about here. Just bring it like down like that and around like so. Then we can just bring that up, and just bring that in like that. Okay. Next up, let's pop the upper upper levels of his trousers in. So I think we're going to end them about say, I think about here and about here, and they're quite sort of baggy areas here so these can just go around kind of meet up there this one can kind of be baggy and just go to there and this is just like a baggy trouser there all right cool uh let's put this leg in so real thin little sort of leg going on there and it just pops out a little bit more where the heel would be and then it's got three little claws so one and then two, and then three, like that. Just bring that up and around. Just put the like, little bandage area that he has, sort of all the ties wrapped up there. So just a few little lines around his leg there. Okay, like that. This side, kind of the same as well. So just come down, two little lines, and it kind of comes out and then sort of goes in like this. Same sort of thing I've put on this side as well. So then we have you know, like one claw, there, and then another claw here, come out, final claw there, okay? That then comes around, same sort of thing, just lines up there. And again, let's just put some sort of curved little areas in, sort of to show like the bandaged area that's around him, and his toes there. All right, cool. Okay, next up, we're just gonna continue where this gown goes here. So I'm just gonna bring that up to here, so just go through here. That kind of uh, leads up to sort of the outer part of his gown. So I'm just going to, where we put that marker earlier, just lead up to there. And then come down again, sort of around here. Same here, where this marker is here. Just going to come down like so. And just put another line in there as well. This little area kind of has got kind of like piping on it. So I'm just going to do a chunky bit there. Maybe like chunky bit here, we'll fill that in in a moment. Another little line along down here. Um, okay, just gonna pop his tail in, so about this area here, just gonna pop a little tail goes in and around and up. Like so, just follow it back around. We've got that tail there. Uh, let's just pop a little bit of ground behind him, just to sort of ground him. That's cool. And then I'm just gonna get the fine point pen, and we'll just put a little bit more detail in for our splinter. So, let's have a look at the top. We can just put a few little wispy bits going on here. It's a little bit sort of tattered ears going on. And just a little bit of texture and detail. Maybe just a little bit of the noses here. It's probably got a few more whiskers as well, so we can just use a light, finer pen just to kind of show that off around here. And here, so we'll pop those there. Then we can just pop this piping in that we've done on his gown. So just a few little lines that sort of join in. We can add a bit of sort of detail to that later on. And then down the piping sort of comes down here. So just put a few, a few little lines in just to kind of show that 
here as well. Then on his uh, jacket, I think it's going around here too. So I'm just gonna do a couple of little lines around there, a couple of little lines around there, just starting to add a bit of detail. It's a slight bit of piping around the gown. So I'm just gonna do that as well. Just a little line around that. Uh, and then probably actually in here too. So just a few little lines there. And there's a wider bit actually. Let's just do a line in here, around here and a few elements like that. Um, also just got a little belt area just under here. So just gonna pop a little line there and a little line there. And then we've got just like a little end of his belt area on either side. Like that, and just a couple of lines, just at the base of that area too. All right, that's looking cool. So just up here, he's kind of got a little badge on. So I'm just gonna pop that in, a little, little curve, a little curve, and a little curve. And then we'll just match that up inside it as well. Okay. All right, let's get in there first of all with a nice yellow popping color. I'm just gonna fill in a few of these sort of trickier colors like finer colors that just sort of drawn in so he's got a yellow area uh, on there these little areas here just a couple of pops there and then he's got a few little bits of insignia on here so I'm just gonna just pop in every so often like a little pattern uh, on either side where we can just show that there's a bit of pattern on his gown there as well all right cool okay that's nice uh what i will do now is just get a light gray uh, with that very light gray i'm just going to start populating a little bit of area well, the eyebrows are very light just around here it's around like, the nose area just up there just some lighter areas of sort of splinters the lighter bits and then we'll do with this light gray as well where the bandaged areas are we're just going to go around that and just add a little bit uh, of sort of shading on there okay let's get a slightly darker gray okay um, with the slightly darker gray that's going to be like our main gray fill so, so let's just fill in around here that's it just around there down by here as well on this side start showing that off and then this side's a bit darker we'll just add a bit a bit more on the right hand side follow it in to these areas here okay that's looking good where his hands are just pop in a bit of the gray there and then just where his feet go to pop in a little bit on those areas too and just one more grey, like quite a dark grey now, where he's got sort of the darker areas of his ears. It's just a bit of different colourways and under here where his eyes are. Well, just give a bit of detail that maybe we want right now. Just around his head, uh, a little bit by the feet as well. So we'll show a bit of shading going on too. All right, cool. Okay, next up, what I'll do is get a nice um, deep red color. What I'll start doing is filling in Splinter's uh, clothing. So just get a nice deep red, almost like a burgundy color. Just go around here. I'm just gonna leave the edge on this side a little bit. And maybe I'll get a lighter color, I think, just to show the kind of like the light reflecting off that around here just be filling the easier bits and then just be cautious around these areas so we don't go right over them swap to the finer point now for this bit and we could just color in yeah that's cool okay that's good okay just a little bit get rid of some of those white bits there okay cool all right let's fill in the rest of him so this jacket part i'm just going to fill it right in burgundy color and then 
this part here as well. Okay, cool. So what I will do now is just get a sort of lighter red, sort of almost orangey colour. Let's just on this area where we've left a little bit of light, let's just pop in a little bit of orange. Maybe just on this bit here as well. Just give an idea of some lighter kind of texture going on. Okay then, so next up, let's get a nice sort of super deep red, sort of darker burgundy colour. What I'll do is these areas here, fill in here, and just help show it sort of like the collar area, like banded area around here. Just around here too, slightly tricky where his hand is, but it also helps to sort of start making the hand area kind of pop out. So it's quite a complicated area in the middle there. And that's all good. Uh, in here too, make that work. Uh, let's just fill in where this band area is here too. Fill in there. Uh, these areas too around here, let's just fill that right up. And in here too. Cool, let's do the trouser areas as well. Fill that right up here. Just add a slight bit of variance to our picture. So that's great. Filling down here. Pro marker. Nice. Okay. All right. That's nice. Okay. Just one more. I've just got sort of a slightly purplier colour. What I'll do here is just just adds a little bit of sort of contrast. Let's go under here and fill it in there. So I'll just blend that pro marker area in. Same here as well, you give a nice sort of rich colour to the belt. Uh, we can just do a little bit on the edge, kind of to show the shading. Just come around here. That's nice. Uh, this area too. Just in there. There. And then let's do the trousers area here. Just bleed in sort of more purpley colour. Just add a little bit of difference. To what is quite a similar tone uh, bit of clothing that Splinter's got on. Okay, next up, just got a little bit of um, actually, just seeing his noses. Let's add a little bit of the pink area around there, just around here as well, for the inner part of his ears. That's cool. Okay, and then where his tail is. Get a nice brown tail for a wrap. Slightly different, not quite a grey tail on this one. Uh, and then I think just where the ears are as well, I'm just gonna fill in a bit of brown so it's just not, not as vibrant and popping as his nose, because the nose really stands out there. Right, let's get the uh, yellow colour back, and I think let's pop that on the ground there. So just pop. Nice sort of popping yellow, sort of bit of an accent colour. Kind of helps the ground splinter. Nice, right, looking good. Okay, let's get a nice red again. And then on art draw, this is splinter. Okay, thanks for watching everyone.